Hey everyone, my name is Grape Applesauce, and welcome to another episode of the Cube SMP. Hello? Is anyone, is anyone else here? What was that? Got some cave noises here. Welcome to another episode of the Cube SMP today. Oh boy, do we have things to do, and things to do including something at spawn here. We're going to be working on a shop today. We're not going to complete it, of course, but we're going to get started because to uh, make this shop, I'm going to need to stock it, and that's what I'd like to do today, but of course, we need to lay it out. So before we get started, I just want to remind you guys, if you do enjoy the cube, be sure to leave a like. It really does help out, and I appreciate all your lovely support. It only takes a second out of your day. And uh, here we go. Um, we have a few things to check out of spawn. I believe there's a uh, few new shops around here. Um, not down this way. Definitely not down that way. I was just down there. Um, I feel like there's something new. There's something new around here, isn't there? There's something new. And is it down here? It might be down here. We got... Wait. We got this place. What is this place? I wouldn't say it's necessarily a shop, but cube library. It's a library. What is this? Oh my gosh, guys, it's a maze. So you might have seen in Grazer's episode, they actually did a race through this maze. I participated in it. And let me just show you what I won from this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you because I participated. I'm just gonna spoil it right now if you haven't seen it. Um, I was the winner of the uh, little race they had, and look what I won. Okay, it was hard to tell. I won nine gold blocks, or nine, six or nine uh, diamond blocks, and it got me a lot of diamonds here, so I'm stacking on diamonds, guys. I'm really stacking on these diamonds, and it's good to have all these because I really didn't have too much before. But uh, we're doing pretty good now, so we were able to buy some stuff if need be. Um, speaking of B, I think she made a shop over here. This is new. I have not checked this out. B's Bakery. Uh, so we have some stuff for sale in here. Let's see, a, gi a gold block. I almost said a gigabyte. Are you serious? One gigabyte each. All right, you can have one gigabyte of uh, of my hard drive here for that cookie. But yeah, she sells some stuff in here. It looks like uh, all the bread sold out. That's what I was going to be here for. Uh, everything else, not too interested. What is this? The Muffin Man. Look at that. How wonderful. All right, that is that place. We are going to start a little bit on my shop. I don't have the uh, the stuff necessary to start yet. Uh, but I have some sort of plan. I've uh, thought of this out. Um, I'm going to need a lot of glass. And I don't think any shop at spawn really sells glass. So what I might need to do is uh, collect up some glass here. And uh, this is the area, of course. So we're going to need to uh, also get some purple, black, and white wool. Which I might need to go buy right now because I don't even know if this area is going to be big enough. We're going to need to make a pixel art. Because in the Apple store, you know that they have the little the little Apple logo inside the glass. We're gonna replicate that in Minecraft. And now uh, we're gonna we're gonna sell out. Oh my gosh, I thought that was somebody else on the server. We're gonna sell out the entire store to Grazer. I'm sure he'll buy everything that's in there because it's Apple. So let's go ahead and grab some gold blocks. Please tell me you have purple. Please tell me you have black. He has white. The only one I have. Oh my goodness. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I will meet you back at my house and we'll discuss more. Whoa! Dude! Have some manners. I'm just trying to walk through the nether and you're trying to kill me. You know what? You're catching this sword. Give me that looting three drop three gas tears. There we go. That one's trying to kill me, so we're gonna make a swift exit here. Let's get back to my house already. So, I will never get tired of that. That's probably my favorite thing to do. Anyways, we are back at the house. We've done a little bit of things off camera here. Let me go ahead and... Oh, I think I have the glitch, guys. I think I have the glitch. When I can't open a chest without nothing in my hand. That's a glitch in 1.8 where you appear crouched to everyone else. So, I could sprint around crouched. But, uh, I'm not actually crouched. So, there we go. We f Let's see if we fixed it. Yes, we did. We can drop that stuff back in there. And we can get to business and show you guys just what I got off camera. So I went mining, right? I went mining. Let's quickly drop this in here while we're talking about mining. Okay. We went mining off camera. I got a lot of stuff. And by a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of iron. Oh. Did I put it away? A lot of iron. So this is a lot of iron. We'll be able to make uh, more beacons if we so pleased to do. 
Uh, we got some more gold blocks, which I already put in there. So we did a lot of mining, and I'm pretty proud of the pole, actually. Like, I got a decent amount of stuff, and uh, it was that's pretty quick, by the way. Uh, we got a lot of iron, so iron is no longer a problem. We have tons of it. We're good on iron. Now, one thing we not we're not good on currently is glass. So we're going to need a lot of glass. Uh, let's see how much sand I have. Oh, three. Oh, baby. Uh, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, there we go. That eight iron smelted up pretty quick. We need to go get some sand and by sand I mean we got to go to a desert. So I'm gonna go find somebody's desert on the cube It's not ready to harvest yet And uh, we're gonna get this thing in motion because I need I need a lot of sand Oh, uh, by the way, I need to get some sheep in here as well so I can go ahead and uh, Start uh, doing the uh, breeding and stuff and uh, getting any color wool that I need So I don't have to buy that shop anymore because Straub never restocks it uh, by the way, I did add grass blocks in here, so you guys don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, one thing I haven't done yet that I'd like to do is probably put trap doors on both sides. I don't know. I don't really like it on one side. It feels uneven to me. Uh, but it's coming out pretty well. It's coming out pretty well. All right. That was pretty dang quick, I must say. We're going to leave that in there for now. Um, that did that while I was just digging out the room in the other room here. And quickly, before I forget, I don't want this to break. We are going to repair this pickaxe. Really quickly, this thing actually like breaks blocks so fast that I might actually break it if I'm not paying enough attention. So we'll just quickly grab that there. And we have a refresh pick. There's one thing I would like to test in this room over here. Uh, I've dug out. Hey, Mr. Spider. Bye, Mr. Spider. So one thing I'd like to test out is the ability to grow trees underground. And I'm not sure if this is going to work. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Not sure this if this is going to work or not. We're going to try this. Um, I want to grow them in the center here. And I'd like to grow... Whoop. like to see if they can grow. And the idea behind this is going to be a uh, tree farm here that everything above... Or everything that's not above will fall into this water stream. Be collected into a hopper over here that will collect into a chest. That will collect all my drops. Um, hopefully, you know, mostly grapples, of course. And do a chest. So we're gonna see if this works. Let's just try it uh, with this one here. And I'm already, for, I'm already gonna tell you it's not gonna work. So we need to dig this higher. Let's see how high we need to dig this. I didn't think of how high we need. Look how fast this thing's like an instant miner though. If you're digging up, let's see if we just dig like a little area here. I think it'll grow now. I'm really hoping it'll at least grow now. There we go. That's all we need. So if we just dig it up over here, we should be able to now, of course, cut it down. And of course, break up all the leaves that are up. Once there's a certain amount of trees, though, on the line, this won't be needed. And you'll let the leaves decay. All the drops will eventually fall into this place right here, which will be a hopper. I'm going to design this room. I'm not really sure yet. I just wanted to make sure this will work just so I could do it, you know, off camera and stuff. Um, I'm actually going to design like a real farm for this, of course. Uh, but for now, it's just a little test to see how uh, this thing will work. Everything uh, is looking pretty good so far. So far, so good. Um, this is not even, is it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, it is even. It's just the uh, the wall's not, not set up right. Is that even? One, two. Wait a second. It needs to go one out this way. Whoops. There we go. We have it. Oh, wait. There we go. And <laughs> now we have it going all the way over here. All the drops should collect on this block right here. And now what we're going to do, we're not going to put a hopper there now. I just wanted to test to see if this theory would work. As you can see, it is working. We need to do some off-camera work. We're going to dig this out. And uh, we're not going to do that today. I just like to, you know, get the baseline for everything. But now that we know this will work, we're just going to drop some trees in here. Um, I don't think all these will grow, actually, with uh, the space I need. I need to go ahead and raise this entire roof. So I'm going to do that, and I will meet you back at spawn. Okay, now, can somebody please riddle me what this is? I've been trying to figure out what this is for so long. I really have no idea. Every time I run by it, I'm like, what in the actual heck is this? Like, one of the, this is not even the same. What is it? I think it's some kind of alien ritual thing. I really don't know, but uh, I've been working... At spawn a little bit on the new shop I've talked about. This is the grapple shop or the apple store Where I will be selling apples and golden apples all that kind of stuff and maybe anything else that pertains, you know, I guess uh, 
the Apple brand kind of make it similar in Minecraft. Um, I've been doing the style of the uh, one in New York City, I believe it is. It's just a big glass cube. And there's an Apple logo on it, and then inside, like, you go underground, and underneath is where the store is at. So that's the plan for this. Um, I actually wanted to lay out... What the... What is that? Why am I down here? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, now that was weird. Let's go ahead and replace the bottom here. We're gonna replace it with quartz. Because I think quartz is gonna look the best. It's gonna make this look the most, uh... Professional here. It's gonna make it look nice and clean. You know the Apple um, They're they're all about simplicity. Everything's really clean. Everything's you know, it's all it's all white and uh, really clean And uh, I guess the technology kind of thing. So what we're gonna do we're gonna dig this out We're gonna replace the floor with all quartz and I'll be right back All right, that looks pretty good. We do need to make a uh, stairs to a down part Maybe I'll just do it on the top here to begin with you know, I don't really have too much to sell here so I'll just do it on the top here to begin with, but the next step is to add more glass. We're gonna need a lot more glass uh, for this top layer here. There's also another design I'd like to try, um, but let's go ahead and get the glass all around here, and then we will add in the other stuff after. All right, we have the glass all encased in here. I think this looks pretty good. I like this, but there's one thing I'd like to add, you know, to add some depth to it, and I think I should put the black glass panes along the edges like this. And go all the way over and then we'll do that on both sides and do this little pattern here I think this will look pretty good and then we're gonna go all the way over the top and whatnot So I'm gonna try out this design and I will be right back again. All right. This is looking pretty good I actually quite like this uh, gives it some depth and it gives it some other color other than the normal glass So now the only thing left to do uh, Besides the interior of course is add the apple or grapple on top. We're gonna go ahead and do that We got a pixel art set up here to see how this will look um, I think I have all the colors I need. I'm missing white, but that's okay. We need to make sure this is centered. And uh, we're gonna make this... It's gonna be quite difficult to make this. Let's see if we have enough room here. Um, we're gonna need brown. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit difficult, but I think it'll fit. I think it'll fit um, here. So, we're gonna work on this a little bit. And uh, hopefully this doesn't use the... It uses the durability. Dang it. Okay, so it does on wool. It uses durability. What I can do is just repair that anyway. Won't be a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and work on this. We're gonna work on making a pixel art grapple on top of this. And I will be back with you after. Alright, we got the outline done. What the? We have a lightning storm of scenes out here. Maybe we can get a supercharged creeper while we're out here. But we have the outline of this thing done. Looking pretty good so far. We do need to grab the white wool, so let me grab that as well. Um, hopefully I'll have enough of everything for this. I'm not quite sure. I didn't- I just kind of guesstimated on how much I'd need. Um, I didn't- sh Straub Shop did not have purple, uh, wool, so I had to actually go get purple dye. And I make it this way, so we'll see how this works out. I just gotta fill a lot of this purple. Like, purple was the main thing I needed, and hopefully there will be enough in here, uh, to fill it all. We also do need some white. Um, not exactly sure where that goes. Hated how I use the durability in this thing. Okay, we gotta figure out where the purple and the white goes. So, purple's pretty much everywhere. Except over here in this corner. Somewhere over- oh, we're out. We didn't have enough purple. Okay, where does the white go? Let's figure that out. So, it goes... It looks like... Right here. So, white... Oh, fall off. Just fall off there. There we go. Okay, white. There. There. And then... Here, here, like that. Okay, so we're only missing a few purple. I think we'll sh we should actually have enough right down here. Let me go look. Please tell me we have enough. Can we just complete this? Six plus some white. Will six do it though? Oh, if I have just enough, I'm gonna freak out. It doesn't look like I will. Oh my god, I might die. Oh my goodness, hiccup. up. All right. We need four more! Oh, this looks so good. I love it. Oh, we literally just need four more. Uh, let me quickly... I don't have any lapis around here. Dang it. Alright, let's complete this. You know what? There's a shop over here that sells lapis that doesn't get much use. Well, today I need this, so let's go ahead and drop you that. Really needed this lapis here. Just, uh, this, uh, convenience factor because I didn't feel like going back to get it. There we go. Got some purple wool. And we're gonna complete this grapple. This looks pretty good. I actually quite like this. It's like literally the grapple store right here. That's so cool. 
Uh, let's see if we can hit this pro shot. Oh, oh, nope. Not that good enough. Not good enough. One, two, three, four. We are complete. Look at how amazing that looks. Go back down. Jump down here. Oh, that looks absolutely wonderful. We got the grapple store in the flesh right here. That looks awesome. Um, it looks like I'm missing a couple brown. That, that would be a problem here. Let's go ahead and add these browns in. I knew I was missing something. That would be the brown, which goes right down here. Here and here. There we go. So really only missing two. Aw, oh, that looks so good. I love this. Yeah, this looks really good. So we got the grapple on top of the store. Now we just have to do the interior to thinking uh, that birch wood's gonna look the best. You know how the tables are in there are kind of like yellowish, so not yellowish, but more like the color of birch wood. So I think if we do this, it'll look pretty good. Now let's make another set of stairs here. There you go. Let's go ahead and place these inside. We're gonna do like a little table thing, so it's not actually gonna be where they're set. So we need to do a counter at the back here. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Just have this little counter back here. You can throw the stuff over the counter. Okay, and then we're gonna have the little tables in the store like so. Let's drop these here. And then let's do it one more back. All right, so we have the general idea um, done here. What I plan on doing is putting stuff on item frames here that'll have the pricing. Eventually, there'll be a downstairs if the demand is pretty high. This is where you'll be able to throw in items and do a payments chest, which I have to do really quickly here. I don't have any hoppers on me, so we're gonna have to get some hoppers. Another thing I'd like to do is uh, make a little courtyard for this. I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do yet. Um, I think I might do stone slabs. I think that'll look pretty good, and then we'll just add some decorations around that. Uh, but for now, I think I'll just do like a stone slab little plot, and uh, we'll get that going, and I uh, will be right back. We have the completed product of the grapple store. I think it looks really good. I really like the courtyard uh, design I did. Um, it's pretty minimalistic, so if you guys have any other ideas to add to it, please let me know. Um, I think I did pretty good with it. You put some plants outside, did a little path uh, design on the ground. And we also have the interior here. I did a little design on the floor just to change it up a bit. Sea lanterns for some light. We have the uh, area back here in which you can uh, lose some carpet, lose some more carpet. This chest down here, this is the payments chest. And then right there, and we'll put the carpet back on so people just be able to toss stuff behind the counter. Goes into the payments chest here. Maybe if I could find okay, it's gonna be right here. I gotta remember where it is. Okay, we should probably uh Dweet. Dweet. And then we'll be able to uh put pricing on stuff right here. This is where stuff will go. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna put here yet. So if you have any ideas for that, please let me know. Um, I was thinking grapples, like normal ones, uh, golden, and then maybe notch. But if there's anything else that you would like me to sell or like you have any ideas for, please let me know. I might actually put the chests underneath here. That'll actually be perfect because then they'll be able to be opened and everything. So let's do that real quick. I think it'll work. Let me make sure. We got two chests right here to test. And it works. So this will be able to work perfect. Then we can add two normal chests. And we'll be in business here once we figure out what we're going to sell. But I just want to make sure the design for the place was complete before, you know, we got onto that. So there we go. There's that. So let me know what you think I should add. That looks really cool, actually. And then we just need to put the final touch on the counter right here. So we're going to write... Oh, can I not put it up here? There we go. Toss payments behind counter. They'll be able to toss the payments back there. And then we also need to do a sign out front here. Uh, let's see This is the grapple store. I hope you enjoy your stay here everyone. So that is that We have everything here, and uh, I think it's come out pretty well. I do like this a lot um, Still not sure exactly what I'm gonna sell. I think I, I feel like something needs to be back here uh, Maybe I feel like we need like a banner. We need like a banner for the store uh, Maybe there's some sort of is there any sort of like grapple banners like or apple banners that I can make um, maybe if you could suggest some of those too. I think there's one of like somebody holding one. Maybe I'll put those on here I think that will look pretty dang cool. I must say so we're all good here We just need to price everything out. We're gonna need a few more signs. We'll just go ahead and plop them on the chest here Let's go ahead and make a few 
Okay, that's where the pricing will be on the chest. Either that or I'll put it, uh, I'll actually name tag the item here in an item frame, which I think might actually be a better idea. I don't know, we'll figure it out when the time comes once we figure out what we're going to sell. But that has been it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like if you did. I'm just, oh, I'd love, I love the build I've been making lately. It's been so awesome. Anyways, I'll see you on the on next episode. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.